welcome to Trinod chemistry classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic, chemical bonding. In chemical bonding topic, I am going to discuss about valency bond theory. Simply, it is also called as VBT. Thank you for watching Trinod chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. So, to explain why atoms are participating in bonding and shapes of molecules. First and foremost theory was Lewis approach to chemical bonding. So, in this Lewis approach to chemical bonding, this, this Lewis approach helps in writing the structure of, structure of molecules, but it fails to explain the formation of chemical bonding. So, why atoms are bond forming bonds? Anatomant Vishyani, he Lewis approach to a chemical bonding, even the form of the anatomant explain Jetam low, he Lewis octet theory, that is Lewis approach, fail in the Alage, it doesn't give any reason for difference in bond lengths in molecules. For example, if you take HH, H2 molecule, if you take, there is a HH sigma bond. Similarly, if you take F2 molecules also, there is a FF sigma bond. In F2 molecule, there is a FF bond. So, why difference in bond lengths? Difference in bond lengths. So, it failed to explain by the Lewis approach. And uh, the main drawback in this Lewis theory is no idea about the shapes of polyatomic molecules. So, polyatomic means uh, more than two atoms are there, then the origin are called polyatomic molecules. So, it, does, it doesn't give any idea about the shapes of polyatomic molecules. To explain, to overcome these difficulties, Vesper theory, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory has come. It gives good idea about the geometry of molecules, but it failed to explain theoretically. It failed to explain theoretically and it has limited applications. It has limited applications. So to overcome these difficulties, whatever the limitations occurred in Lewis approach and as well as in Vesper theory, valency shell, electron pair repulsion theory, valency bond theory has come. So to explain the, to, uh, to explain the limitations in Lewis approach and valency shell electron pair repulsion theory, the valency bond theory has introduced. So this valency bond theory was introduced by Heitler and London and it is further developed by Pauling and Slater. Pauling and Pauling and Slater. So this PBT valency bond theory is based on the Knowledge of atomic orbitals, knowledge of atomic orbitals, electronic configuration of elements, and it has introduced the concept of overlapping of atomic orbitals and hybridization of atomic orbitals and principles of variation and superposition. So, valency bond theory is completely based on the knowledge of uh, atomic orbitals, electronic configuration of elements, overlap of atomic orbitals hybridization of atomic orbitals and principles of variation and superposition. So, Manaki, e intermediate level lo, e non mathematical approach Matrame Manamaka discussed it in Jerutundi. So, e mathematical approach how Yala Jerutundi, when we could have Manaki, mathematically Manaki beyond our scope. That's why Manamaka only qualitative in terms of qualitative and non mathematical treatment only consider chetan jarugutunde so manaki ee theory ni ante ee valency bond theory ni ardham chesukotaniki simple molecules formation of hydrogen molecule manam ippudu ikkada discuss cheyabothunnam now let us consider the in order to understand the valency bond theory let us consider the formation of hydrogen molecule so we know that Hydrogen molecule is formed by formed by mutual sharing of two hydrogen atoms. So let us consider the two hydrogen atoms as A and B for our convenience. 
let us consider the two hydrogen atoms as A and B. So this is the A hydrogen atom, this is the A hydrogen atom and this is the B hydrogen atom. And uh, here let us assume nucleus of A hydrogen atom is Na and electron of electron cloud of hydrogen atom is Ea. Similarly, B hydrogen atom nucleus is denoted with Nb and electron cloud is denoted with Eb. Eb. So when two hydrogen atoms are approaching, there are two types of forces or arises between them. One is attractive forces. Attractive forces between nucleus A and electron cloud A and similarly nucleus B and electron cloud B. Similarly, there are attractions between nucleus A and electron cloud B and nucleus B and electron cloud of A. Similarly, there arises repulsive forces between nucleus A and nucleus B and electron cloud A and electron cloud B. So the attraction, attractive forces and repulsive forces are arising uh, in BM when two hydrogen atoms are approaching each other. So here, attractive forces tends to bring the atoms close together, whereas repulsive forces tends to push them apart. And the attractive forces are undetni the Greek this question of Pratna Cheston Tunte, while repulsive forces in Jetno, Avi, what undetni Doranga of Tanaki Pratna Cheston. Experimentally observed that the magnitude of attractive force is more than new repulsive forces. As a result, the two hydrogen atoms approach each other and potential energy decreases. Potential energy decreases. So, so at one stage, the magnitude of attractive forces, the magnitude of attractive forces is equal to the magnitude of repulsive forces that is attractive forces attractive forces are balanced by the repulsive forces so at this stage the potential energy the potential the system uh, the, the system's potential energy becomes a minimum so the at this point of time at this point of time point of time the two hydrogen atoms the at this point of two hydrogen atoms, two hydrogen atoms, hydrogen atoms are said to be, are said to be bonded together, bonded together, bonded together to form a, to form a stable, stable molecule having, having minimum Stable molecule. At this point of time, the, at the, the two hydrogen atoms are said to be forming a stable molecule. A stable molecule. Here, if we observe the potential energy diagram, when this is the potential energy and this is the inter-nuclear distance. This is the inter-nuclear distance. So, initially the potential energy is very high. So, when the two hydrogen atoms are approaching each other, Potential energy keep on decreasing and at one stage it starts rising. So initially attractive forces are dominating. That's why potential energy is decreasing. So after reaching a certain internuclear distance, that is called internuclear distance. This is called internuclear distance. The repulsive forces dominates. That's why their energy increases. Their energy increases. In the formation of, in the formation of hydrogen molecule, hydrogen molecule, in the formation of hydrogen molecule, there is a, there is a minimum energy state, minimum energy state, minimum energy state where two hydrogen atoms, two hydrogen atoms are so near are so near that their atomic orbitals their atomic orbitals orbitals undergo undergo partial interpenetration 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 so this 
partial inter penetration inter penetration penetration or merging of merging of atomic orbitals merging of atomic orbitals the partial interpenetration or merging of electrons merging of atomic orbitals is known as overlapping is known as overlapping is known as overlapping so here the extent of the extent of overlapping the extent of overlapping decides the the extent of overlapping decides the strength of the covalent bond and its bond length the extent of overlapping decides the the extent of overlapping decides the strength of covalent bond so greater the overlap the stronger is the bond formed between the two atoms so greater the overlapping so greater the merging of atomic orbitals greater will be the um, stronger is the bond formation stronger is the bond formation so these are the some of the theoretical non mathematical concepts in valency bond theory in my next video we will we can discuss uh, various overlapping we have introduced the concept of overlapping what is overlapping overlapping means the partial interpenetration or merging of atomic orbitals is known as overlapping of atomic orbitals atomic orbitals so in next video we can discuss we can discuss various types of overlappings and formation of sigma bond and pi bond thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel